As we approach this winter heating season, here's a couple tips that you want to do so you can enjoy the winter instead of standing outside and doing all these things when it's raining and snowing and 20 degrees outside. First thing you want to do, I would start off with the fireplace. This is something that you want to enjoy. Look up in the fireplace, make sure it's clear of debris like birds and birds nests and squirrels. Next, you want to, if it does need a cleaning, you want to go up and hire a professional chimney sweep. This is not something you want to do yourself. Next, I would go down and start with your furnace. Go down and do a little bit of a test run. Crank the thermostat up to 80 degrees and see if that unit clicks right on. If it doesn't, get a qualified professional over right away to check that out. You want to make sure your furnace is running so you don't have to feed the fireplace all winter. There's a lot of other seasonal maintenance that you can do around the, the house. With the furnace, you want to clean at least once a year and preferably twice a year before the cooling and the heating seasons. Check it, clean it, replace the filters. Next, you want to make sure that your fuel tank is full. Go and check out their fuel tank, make sure it's all capped off and topped off and, and that you have plenty of fuel for the winter and you don't run out in the middle of the night. Go around, check your heating vents throughout the house, make sure they're clean of debris, make sure that they're, they're clean from dust and that they're functioning and operating properly so you're all primed and ready for, this, for the heating season. You should also take this time to go and, and check your house for carbon monoxide leaks. There are carbon monoxide detectors that should be in place and if your unit is five years old, remind, remember that that unit probably is no longer functioning well or properly, so replace that if it's more than five years old. Go outside to your air conditioning condensing unit, and you want to clean any debris from around that unit. There are leaves that have fallen down over the course of the autumn, and you want to get all debris off that unit. These air conditioning compressors are intended to be around for year-round use, but in the winter time, you can prolong the longevity of that unit if you clean this and you cover it. Okay, so you're not exposing these to all the winter conditions. So get a nice sturdy cover that, a lot, that uh, uh, sufficiently covers this. Make sure it's protected from the elements. Same thing with any air conditioning units that you have installed through your windows. If you can, and where all possible, remove that unit, store it away in the garage or in the uh, basement somewhere until the next season comes around. If it's too big, bulky, or not possible to remove that, make sure that that too, like your condensing unit, has an adequate cover so that that is sealed and protected against the winter elements. I would also recommend that you go to your hot water tank, wrap that with insulation. Fiberglass, if possible, you can even take an old garbage bag and wrap that around the uh, insulation just to make sure that you have a sufficient good seal on there so that is going to operate efficiently and effectively. Any exposed plumbing pipes that you have in the garage or in some sort of outside walls, make sure that they're insulated. If you have exterior hose bibs, feel free to shut off an interior valve to prevent those from freezing up. If not, try to drain that system down, but insulate those pipes because a freeze up in the middle of a winter on a, on a pipe could be catastrophic. Additionally, if you have a hunting cabin or you have some other place that's going to be abandoned or it's a seasonal unit, make sure you drain the water down in that system as well so that you don't have to come back and find out that you have a catastrophe there either. Lastly, check your windows for leaks. Some of the old double hung style of windows are, are more prone to leaks or some of the gliding windows and you can cover them very inexpensively with a variety of insulation kits that are available for most home centers. Check caulk around those and make sure you have a nice tight seal. If you follow these tips, you should have great functioning equipment and you should have a nice tight house so you can enjoy your fireplace for the holidays. Keep tuning in for more helpful tips, interesting ideas, and innovative products. And happy holidays from all of us at units.com.